What's up, guys? It's Coach Chris just coming at you today to talk about your base pace. This week, I hear coaches talking about our base pace. Next week, we'll have a different topic, but for the rest of the week, base pace is the key. So I'm going to go and talk about base pace from the ground up. Your base pace is a foundation. You can liken this to a ground level floor, okay? And then the walls that are up on the side and then the roof, okay? Without that foundation, if it's sketchy, okay, the whole building is going to come toppling down. So I'm going to give you a little example of a little Jenga block here. Got four blocks on the ground floor. If you notice the ground floor blocks, okay, they're separated, okay? What does that mean? At any point, these blocks can come crashing down, but they gotta be tight and stuck together. They gotta be close together. Once we start adding our push paces in there, okay, start adding those other areas to improve our fitness, okay? we notice that we start feeling good, we start feeling solid, everything just kind of seems to be working out really well, okay? And then what we also notice is, is as we keep doing this, okay, we get stronger and stronger, and then those walls keep coming up. That's our push pace, we're building off of that push pace, we're able to hold that push pace. And then we start adding the roof, which we can liken to our all out effort. That roof is the top, it's like the cherry on top, okay? And as we get a good foundation, we got our good speed set. We got our base pace speed set. We got our push pace speed set. And we finally figured out what that all out is. Now, a lot of things can happen, okay? If we're not able to maintain that base pace, let's say we're at a speed that just, you know, seems to be going back and forth. We don't really know where to go. We're confused, okay? What tends to end up happening is if this bottom ground floor starts to separate. And if we're not consistent, that separation can cause all this other stuff to be affected. For example, what other speeds? Push and ultimately that all out. And then guess what? Everything just comes toppling down, okay? How do we figure this out? How do we keep this whole thing, this whole building block situation solid to where it doesn't come crashing down? Well, you gotta keep working on it. You gotta keep fixing it if your house breaks, okay? If the foundation crumbles, you gotta call somebody in to fix the foundation, okay? How do we make sure that it stays this way? Well, you got to maintenance, right? You got to fix it. You got to make sure that if one thing, okay, gets messed up, that you just repair it right away, okay? And that goes with treatments and rehab as well. So what's the best way to start in our base space? How do we know, okay, where to start? The best place to start is at the lower end of the spectrum. Because if you start at the lower end of the spectrum, you can always go up, okay? I got another part to this video. Tune in.